following day. Day one, Halloween. Teresa Hallback has three freelance photography assignments to shoot pictures of cars for Auto Trader magazine. She's never seen again. Day four, Hallback's mother calls police. Teresa hasn't been home or to work in three days. Day five, the case takes a fateful twist. Investigators learn that one of Hallback's last assignments was at the salvage yard of Stephen Avery, the Manitowoc County man exonerated by DNA testing after serving 18 years in prison for a rape he didn't commit. From the beginning, investigators say Stephen Avery and his family are cooperative. Day six, the Averys let Hallback's friends search for Teresa's car on their salvage lot. They find it hidden under branches and scrapped metal. The license plates are missing. The hidden SUV is enough for police to get search warrants. They ship Hallback's car to the state crime lab for testing. Day seven, the words they feared. The crime lab finds human blood inside Teresa's car. We don't know where she is, so until we know where she is, you know, we're definitely thinking that she's going to come home to us. But as Hallback's family holds out hope, investigators searching the trailer where Stephen Avery lives uncover guns, handcuffs, leg irons, and blood in front of his washer and dryer. Day eight. Investigators have ordered the Averys off their property as 200 officers comb 40 acres of junk cars and scrap metal. Divers search ponds, dogs search fields, and another 200 of Teresa Hallback's friends and family walk the surrounding acreage. It all comes back and all memories and everything else in there. They're scheduling me out again. Deep down it hurts. But as Avery complains to reporters, investigators uncover a key that will be key to their case. It's a car key hidden in Avery's bedroom. Day nine, investigators recover Teresa Hallback's crushed license plates in a scrapped car on the Avery lot. Then, in a fire pit next to Avery's trailer, a discovery they nearly missed. Fire marshals inform the sheriff that what appear to be twigs are most likely bone fragments and human teeth. Day 10. 12 News is on the phone with Stephen Avery as officers arrive to arrest him for gun possession. He's a convicted felon. It's illegal for him to have the two guns found in his trailer. 12 News is also there as investigators round up other Averys to provide DNA samples to compare to evidence collected at the Avery compound. Finally, the crime lab confirms that the teeth and bones found in Avery's fire pit are human. A shaken sheriff goes to tell the Hallback family calling it the most difficult thing he's ever done. I think they were expecting the worst. And uh, but when I had to go out there and tell them what we had found, uh, that was very hard for me, and I'm sure uh, 20 times harder for them. Day 11, the DNA is in. The crime lab reports four separate samples of Avery's DNA in Hallback's car and Avery's DNA on that key found in Avery's bedroom. A key they now know starts Teresa Hallback's SUV. Day 12. It is no longer a question, at least in my mind as the special prosecutor in this case, who is responsible for, in this case, the death of Teresa Hallback. The district attorney announces he will charge Stephen Avery with murdering Teresa Hallback and mutilating her corpse. Day 13, Stephen Avery goes on the defensive. They planted the evidence. I was going to be there. You know, I didn't do nothing. From jail, Avery argues that Manitowoc officials planted the evidence so they won't have to pay out on the $36 million lawsuit he's filed against them for his wrongful conviction. Well, she seemed like a nice girl. She did her job, and that was it. But what happened to her, I don't know. I won't harm her. But the sheriff is certain. DNA doesn't lie. Day 16, 20 years after his wrongful conviction, Stephen Avery is back in Manitowoc County Court, in jail stripes and shackles, once again at the mercy of the criminal justice system. Despite the DNA matches, prosecutors say they still don't know how, or perhaps more importantly, why Stephen Avery killed Teresa Halbach, though they don't have to prove motive to convict him. But prosecutors say they hope to have more answers by the time Avery goes back to court on homicide charges in early December.